Oh, um, hello there. Um, uh, my name is Gary Groundhog. Uh, if you read the, uh, Bangor Main Weekly today, you might have seen my, uh, two brothers, uh, Gilbert and Granger Groundhog. You know, they're both a little older than me. I'm the Groundhog in the middle. Oh, okay, okay, my laugh is very, very bad. Now, 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 here's what I wanted to say. Um, apparently when they were interviewed on behalf of the paper about their uh, participation in Groundhog's Day... You know, uh, Gilbert, you know, he's, uh, you know, very sarcastic, you know, and maybe a little jaded, you know, for a groundhog. He actually said, uh, you know, it's uh, overrated, and, um, you know, uh, Granger said he could cast a better shadow, you know. They've really taken too many letters, uh, you know, lessons. I'm sorry, I'm not very good with L words uh, from uh, Statler and Waldorf on The Muppet Show, you know, and Groundhog shouldn't even be watching TV anyway. So, uh, anyway, I came on here to do a little uh, YouTube commentary. Andre's here with me, and I'm just guest starring on his show for Groundhog's Day. And first, I wanted to wish you all a happy Groundhog's Day. And I, I, I myself didn't see my shadow today because it was a little too cloudy. So I just went right back in to sleep, you know, and then that, that, that's something that happens sometimes. But I, I wanted to ask you a question. What is all of this I've been hearing about global swarming? You know, I've walked around downtown Bangor in the summer and in the spring and looked around at all the little storefronts and seen the globes and the toy stores. And, you know, globes can't really swarm, you know, neither can the real globe. You know, I mean, it's a planet. It just sits there in the middle of the solar system and doesn't do much except rotate and the days change and the night changes and, and all that. And, you know, you have to have wings to swarm. I've been around killer bees. And, you know, globes can't really swarm, you know, if they did, you know, you, you, you would have the equator coming at you and, you know, it would be, you know, it would be really terrible because, you know, these globes are big and heavy and they could crush you and they could crush me. Oh, but wait, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Gary? Gary? Um, uh, listen, uh, uh what, what, what is it, Don Andre? Uh, Gary, um, that's global warming, not global swarming. It is an environmental problem. It has nothing to do with killer bees or anything with wings on it. Oh, uh, really? Uh, is that right? That's right. And I know that groundhogs have a bit of a seeing problem compared to other animals, but uh, it's very important that, you know, we get our facts straight here because it is Groundhog's Day and we need to inform the people correctly. Oh, uh, I understand now. I get things. Never mind. Did we infringe on a copyright here? No, 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 we didn't. Uh, Gilda Radner is no longer with us. Oh, that's sad. Uh, you know, I love Gilda Radner. Yeah, I, I know you do, and you know that's why. Uh, you know, you, you like the Emily Latilla. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. You think Lauren Michaels is gonna get us in trouble? No, no, I really don't think Lauren Michaels is. Well, uh, we'll be back next year. Thank you.